Hey, hello you darkened asparagus and welcome to my first impressions of Death Bloom Chapter 1 I mean, I'm not going to complete it all, so yeah, just be Chapter 1 This is another horror game, one of those spooky ones I've been playing a lot of them recently and I don't know why They've just tickled my fancy Death Bloom contains flashing lights and scenes some players may find disturbing Like a god with a giant testicle? No, he was on a whale of some sort Okay, why is this so dark? Way too dark. I couldn't even change it in the settings. Deathbloom's got one of those auto saves. Also, doesn't know what it wants to do with the volume levels. Adapt and survive as there are no previous save files and no second chances for wasted supplies. Oh, that's fine. We're just going to go nuts. Go absolutely crazy. Started about two months ago, I found a letter outside my mother's house during one of my visits from Boston. It had nothing written on it, only a wax symbol on the back of a snake wrapped around a cup. Okay. Cup snake. I recollected seeing one of these letters during my childhood growing up in Providence. My mother took it out of my hand and locked it away in a box she kept under her bed. Uh oh. I saw that the box was almost full and not a single one was open. It's something I think about from time to time, though they had mostly forgotten about. I'm almost 30 now and once again held one of these strange letters. I saw no harm in opening just that one for the sake of my childhood curiosity. It was handwritten, informing my mother that her father had passed away at his estate in Massachusetts after a long battle with a chronic illness. Don't see why it has to fade in and out to bring the next bit of text up, but that's fine. My grandfather died before I was born. At least that's what my mother told me. My family has always been my mother and I, and she rarely spoke of her parents or upbringing. The news that he was alive all these years and only a day's drive away was devastating. After consideration, I decided to take an absence from work and travel to my grandfather's house without my mother's knowledge. Hopefully I'll learn about who he was and get closure on the years we could have had together. Please wait. Your call is important to us. Uh, Christina, five years ago. Please wait. <laughs> oh, okay. So that was like its own separate loading screen just for those images coming up with the text. It had to have its own loading screen just for that, and then another loading screen for, I'm guessing, the game part. Wait, and also another loading screen just for when it said Christina five years ago. Okay, good start. This is why we like the first impressions. Let's have a big old load. Here we go. Okay, right, I need to change my sensitivity. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Oh, it's got the head bob. Got the head bob. But why is there no electricity? Oh well. It's always the same hallways, but different rooms. How long have I been in this house? How many years? I mean, the game looks alright so far. Mm, oh, there's leaning. There's leaning. Okay, wasn't expecting that. That's an elevator of some sort. It's probably going to fall on us. There's weird noises going on that I can't tell if it's supposed to be the music or ambient noises. If it's ambient noises, that makes no sense. Why did she do this to me? It wasn't my fault. Ah. There we go, look at that magic. Assuming that was her. Hi mannequins. Got any 
goodies for me. Maybe you got painted nails. Nice. How long until I die here? Or am I already dead? This house used to be full of life and hope for the future. Ah, it's making the, uh, the hanging noises. That must have been the chair. God, time passes so quickly when you're having fun. Go this way, she ran from here. F to interact or examine objects. Okay, what would you like me to examine? Nothing? Oh, the mannequin apparently. There was no prompt. Okay. The washing machine. Crouch. Oh, no, it's left control to crouch. Are you C to crouch? Sorry, everybody. So maybe we've got to find another mannequin. Can't reach that one. What about you? No, nice part. Um, hmm. Can we go back where we came? This is why I prefer like HUDs in video games. You can actually see, oh, that this is something you can interact with. The problem is, when you do take like, the hard away, especially when you still have the text saying, oh, press this button, it's got nothing to do with immersion. You can feel immersed, even if you have a HUD. And the issue is, I'm literally left with just mashing interact on everything. Oh, this way. This way. Oh, okay. Alright. There we go. I guess I could have followed the mannequin's hand and it's trying to point me in the direction of where I should go. Okay, we've got a symbol of some sort. Oh, there we go. We've got an eye this time. A bag of death bloom is on the shrine. I don't feel good being in this room. Alright, it's a snake with the cup, apparently. I was expecting more of a mug shape. Oh, can't pick it up? Hmm. Ah, there we go. Waiting for the candles to light up. That's a man? I think. I think. I think that was a man. This isn't real. I need to wake up from this nightmare. She can't actually be here. We found her dead in the basement years ago. What did I pick up? I'll take that. I'll take the knife. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, you silly. Hi. Me, present day. Well. Atmosphere's not particularly scary, is it? Uh oh. This is the scariest part is the please wait. Is it going to be a please wait for text or please wait for gameplay? Also, I don't know, it just felt that bit was pointless, that prologue was pointless. You could have literally just read about that in like a, just a diary of some sort, or even a note. But, no, fair enough. They made us watch it. They made us play it. It's 
still waiting, don't you worry. You've got this game. I believe in you. Okay. Was the keys to move? Okay. Game definitely doesn't like being outside. I know that much. Frames have definitely dropped a bit. My grandfather's house should be through this garden. I can't wait to see it. I wonder what it's having issues with. Could it be the amount of stuff that's outside? The rain itself? Who knows? But yeah, definitely dropping frames. Although, to be fair, some games hate be being recorded and played at the same time. <laughs> so they do drop frames. Nice. We love a floating tree. Oh, multiple floating trees. Interesting map. Again. There's no real reason for us to go through that little bit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Game might have crashed. And we're back! We are back. With even less frames. Okay, so the game very, very nearly crashed. But, you know, I waited. I had the crash report thing all popping up. But no, it's fine. We got this. I might have to lower the resolution here. Because this is not going to be enjoyable for either of us. If this game really is going to stay at this kind of frame rate. A peaceful fountain. Open the gate to the manor. Right, hold on. Let's, uh... uh on there. how slow my mouse cursor is, because I had to lower the resolution. Oh my god. Okay, so, I just lowered the resolution. Just from 1080p to, uh, 900p, and what has happened? Why does it look so much worse? Oofa doofa. Do we even have more frames? It doesn't feel like it. Yikes. This game hates it when you're outside, apparently. Anyway, we'll stick with this, because it's a bit better than... Uh... No frames. Can the peaceful fountain... Thank you. <laughs> peaceful fountain just didn't want me to go away. Weird, it's like the resolution, the actual like textures and everything else has like stayed the same, fine. But the change of resolution has just made it super blurry. But that's all it's done. We just uh, we can't jump, sadly. Kind of hoping we could. Wait, looking down improves the frame rate. Nice. Don't look that way. That's worse. I can't take that. No, I'm trying to. Hmm. That's just that. Kind of hoping we had a flashlight or something, but it doesn't look like it. And the uh, central things like eye or 
even Jay, Jay sometimes does it where Jay's your like inventory to have a look in there, but uh, across RII maybe? It's so dark. Unknown. Unknown. Okay. Oh, now the lightning goes off, doesn't it? Would have been nice if it went off. As I was trying to read the gravestone. Found a key. It's inscribed Lion. Hey, we got a lion key, even though it was a heart shape. Could have just put a lion head on there. Again, apologies about the frames. They've added like way too much foliage. That's the issue. It's way too much. Like, it's not even just like short grass. If it just stayed like that, literally just stayed like that, stayed all muddy or whatever, fine. But now they've decided to make it a complete jungle with the longest grass ever for someone's garden. I know it's supposed to be like, oh, it wasn't kept or whatever. Still. The workshop was always a peaceful place for me to get away from everything. I had hoped to die there one day, but the Lord had different plans for me. I'm assuming Lord is in God, not the Lord of the manor. Hmm. I'm not feeling particularly scared either, if I'm honest. Uh, let's go this way. Why not? Oh no, pumpkins! Now we're done for. Why can't I just pick up this lantern and just carry it with me? Oops. <laughs> Oops. Guess I didn't put that in properly. And I'm back. Sorry, that's someone buzzing at my door. Don't worry. It was a good thing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, tab. Hopefully I didn't break the game by doing that. Hmm. Right. Can't open the basket. It's so dark. It doesn't make it scary being dark either. Just makes it annoying. Especially when you're trying to look for items. And you can't just pick up this lantern and just carry it with you. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to do that. Like, is this actually the way to go? I'm only going this way because as I was looking out the window something was like blinking. On and off. Yeah, this thing. Uh, did we go around this way? Oh, can't take the saw. Another key. Oh, lion scarecrow. Okay, Wizard of Oz, got it. Hello? Thank you. That's a grim looking pitchfork. Expert on pitchforks. Thank you. Um, my stuff. Oh, okay, right. Lion, scarecrow. I'm currently by the shed. We didn't check to the right, or did we? I think we did. Although, if I were to guess, the X means. There's something I've missed. Uh, sorry, I've picked up something, so I'm guessing something in here I've missed. Probably because I couldn't see it. Um, what about by that lamp? That lantern? No. Uh, OK, 
Okay. <laughs> On to the next bit. So I was looking at the map and I was trying to see if I could move the circle that's like going around the shed, but nope. So this is, sorry, terrible, it's directions this way, and then go from that, uh, it would be to our right we need to go. It's the lookout thing. Actually, can I just, uh, I can, I can literally just leave the map up. This does not feel like this is the lookout spot. Better go somewhere else instead. I'm probably a completely different place. Anyway, there's a fountain. This one's apparently not peaceful looking. Was this the way? It's not the way we came. Three keys? Go in a wall? Mm, yes. Need one more key. Tell you what, this isn't particularly exciting. Huh? <laughs> Sorry to say. I'm kind of hoping for, you know, something, anything to happen. Even if I was just like holding a gun, that would be uh, a bit more exciting than what's going on. Wait, can we climb up? Yes! Oh. Because that would mean like we drop down into something, but no, it doesn't look like it. Looks like we just climb up for the sake of climbing up. Okay. Up you go, thank you. Hold on. Another pointless area. I mean, this whole thing has felt pointless, to be honest. You're not giving me any scares in this entire garden. And all you maybe do is just collect keys to progress to the next area. Just put me in the scary area to begin with. Not even interested. Leaving these grounds, maps updated. Ah, oh, okay, so I'm guessing the circle is the objective. We've got to go to the conservatory. Wait. This kind of feels like a conservatory, if I'm honest. Plenty of swords. Ah, what's this? Someone living in here? Oh yeah, why would we, you're right, why would we want to go inside and check it out? That's fine. No, nope, can't go in there. Stuck on an upside down table. Wait, is this really how you're gonna block me off from going that way? Okay, what about... no. No. <laughs> Just a very tedious game at the moment. Thank you, Tin Man. And uh, now I've got to try and remember which way to go. This way and away. I'd love to be able to just run across. Come on, we're going to stick with it, guys. Game could get good and interesting once we put in that final key. Hey, 
know, maybe the frame rate would be better when we're inside. Unless there's even more garden. Oh, please, please don't let there be even more garden. No, that screams mansion. Home security. What? That doesn't matter. Probably said it looks like we've got the keys in the right way. Oh no, it's going to be another loading screen which takes four decades. <sighs> Don't crash. Here we go, onwards to the mansion. And yeah, the frame rate's better already. That's just a bin because the amount of foliage or whatever. May actually, maybe it doesn't look like there's water here. Maybe it was the water effects are really just killing it. Again though, why don't we just start the game there? Or even here? Got the game there. That's it. All right, here we go. Ah, uh, welcome to my uh, and so on. Here we go. We got this. Like that whole start was pointless. Front door's locked. Press escape. View the controls at any time. Okay, thanks. Why is this game making it so hard to let you play it? I don't understand. I guess fireflies. Keys there. Anything else to check out? Uh, no, just another clipping issue. Let's just get in. Let's just get inside. Maybe I'll open the door and there'll be a gun and plenty of spooky enemies. We can only dream. Also, so this game is split into chapters as well, just realised. So if you only get the first chapter, why would you buy the second chapter after this start? Seriously. This has got to be the best game ever. As soon as we walk around in here. We finally get a flashlight. And another loading screen. Oh my god. It's painful. Yep, yeah, this is a painful, painful start. I'm gonna I'm gonna bear with it though guys. Play a little bit more. Like I said, this is the mansion part, so this could be where the game is just incredible all of a sudden. I wasn't expecting to have the map. So, this place is incredible. You could find a. Oh no, I just skipped that accidentally. Cheap chocolate on, nice. Vladislav, baby, don't hurt me. Hmm. Hmm. 
an attempt at comedy. I'll give it that. It was an attempt at comedy. I'm trying to think if that's actually a, a hint. It could just be random pictures. Big enough. Another picture. Is this the same book? So I was uh, distracted by the book. I wanted to read it, but I can't. You got something for me? Hold on. Gotta get into the perfect range to be able to examine you. I can't imagine how expensive this painting is. Well, I don't know. Also, strangely drawn like a magician? A female magician? But is a male magician? Your guess is as good as mine. And what that's supposed to be. Now I can open this one. Pointless. Basement key. Locked. That's definitely not the basement. Those candles were lit. I hope no one is squatting in my grandfather's house. Ah, yes. The mystery of the turning off candles. The game loves its loading screens. Okay, okay, I was just casually leaning back, very nearly going to sleep, because I am bored. Mr. Head, can you do something interesting? Right, apparently it, it's wet down here. There's another note. You're kidding me. Among Us is everywhere these days, guys. It's even stolen the effect. Although, to be fair, I think this uh, came out before Among Us really blew up. Well, let's go have our emergency meeting then. Oh, hold on, hold on. No, can't go there. What was too deep? No turning back, I guess. Well, okay, whatever. Not interested. I'm assuming we get a gun. Because it looks like we've got an ammo counter at the bottom left there. Guess we're not going to interact with those. Couple of chairs. Okay. More law, get out. I like the way I have to press F to get rid of the text. No. We haven't got a map, have we? Oh. Uh, yeah, probably, you know, whatever. 
noises. Oh no, it's a stamina meter as well. Ugh. But it's invisible. Hi. To a block, no idea. Couldn't even see it because that's so bright. Wait, what? Actually, showing the shadows of that. Fair enough. Nice, we got valve. That water effect go into the cupboard. Get this. <laughs> oh. That is the block. I was right. Pocket knife, one of zero. Come on in, pal. Let's have a scrap. See what the combat's like. Why wouldn't you take the axe? No, let's stick with the pocket knife. I don't know why I'm looking at the notes. Peek around the corner. Beep. There we go. Beat. What's a room like this doing down here? Good question. Metal feet. Yeah, that'd be the death of me. Yeah, just casually put a fuel uh, tank in my pocket. Come on, do something scary. Now. Oh. Nothing. I, I had hopes then. I thought, oh, maybe an enemy of some sort. No, it was just the zombie noise. From Resident Evil 2. Oh no, the axe is gone. Who could have seen that coming? Wait, how are we going to block an axe with a pocket knife? Just uh, just think about that. Uh, so that's blocked off. Restricted area. Please, game. Please. Do something interesting. Maps updated. Great. There's a wrench. Can't do anything with it. What? What are you telling me to press? What are you telling me to press? Ah, oh, okay. I need two more. I can't believe it. I'm only sticking with this game because I just want to attack something. Or be attacked. It feels like I've been playing this game for... Okay, it feels like I've been playing this game for like two hours. I've probably only played it for like 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Enemy, please. I'm begging you.
this is a joke. Yes. Yes. Come on. Fight me. Wait, let me go this way. I should be able to meet you down there, right? Come on, fight me, pal. Mr. Minotaur Dude. <sighs> oh no, he's put the axe in here instead. Hit me with the axe. Oh, this is ridiculous. <sighs> Started. Would he be in this way? <laughs> See, it's a good thing I do these videos. And you watch them. Because this game seemed interesting, which is why I bought it. I was like, yeah, it could be fun. Well, I should know better. Hi. I used a mouth. Nice. Give me an enemy to fight. It's locked. If only I had an axe. That was created as a puzzle to track where someone would go. I should just leave this house as soon as I disengage the lock on the exit. Have a, an arm pop out here or something. Literally, just anything. Look, have someone's head poking out and go Woo, like that. But nothing happens. Get another emergency meeting, guys. Enemies, come on. Don't know why there are cigarettes in the toilet, but that's fine. What about this one? Yep. All got them in there. Yes. Please say the other room's got one. No. <laughs> yes. Yes. Come on, fight me. Ah. Uh. This room. Oh wait, let me make him turn towards it. I'm so stubborn. So stubborn, guys. We're getting to an enemy. We're gonna fight one. And I'm gonna check the video. How long this is.
Yeah. For you too. Come on, run this corner. Scare me. The flashlight battery is dead. You know, I, I take back all my hate for Final Fantasy XIII and its corridors. Because it could have been like this. Nice, I love the uh, sound clipping going on, that's good. And a bridge, I guess, blocking my way. This isn't annoying at all, by the way. Definitely not. Mannequins don't even fall over. The handle's broken off. Why? Why? I know, I'm thinking the exact same thing. Could have had a ladder scare, no. Candles recently lit. Well, yeah. <laughs> the candles are lit. Normally pretty recent. Rustic key. It's a joke. Oh no, the mannequins. Oh no, the ladder. Get me off. Thanks. Um. This way? Yeah, we didn't go into the, the bars, did we? Let me take that axe. No. Yes, surely. Come on. I'm not sure if that's a mannequin or not. Come on. Pretty sure I've seen these zombies before. Come on. This one's not got a head. Tell if it's oh, hold shift to run. Wait, why? Why? Why would I hold shift? Is there an enemy? Is there finally an enemy? No, don't tease me. Don't tease me. Come on. Yeah, enemy. Come on, fight me. You actually teasing me, game? Stop giving me this. Scary music in quotation marks. Do the mannequins hurt? No. <sighs> What's the point of this music if there's nothing going on? Jesus Christmas, guys. This is actually a joke. I've... What do you mean? What, did I have to read the note for longer? Oh, flashlight battery. Of course, forgot about that. Forgot about that. That amazing mechanic. Flashlight batteries. Just so you know, I wasn't tired. At all. Before playing this. Now, I could sleep for 10 hours.
Do I care about that room? No. Unless, as soon as I open it, a gun pops out. Nothing. That's going to be for later, then. <laughs> later. I just can't believe it. But I'm in shock. I think that's the only reason I'm really playing this. I can't believe it's as boring and as dull. As it is. Like, it's, it can't be possible. How can you make this? And be like, yep, yeah, I'm happy with that. And do you remember at the start it was like, oh, you gotta be careful, don't waste your supplies. I was thinking, wait, that I could die multiple times? Things actually matter? Come on, I've done this. Please. Enemy. Enemy! Why would you do that though? It's giving me a knife. Give me a knife. I haven't fought anything with it. And then it's giving me a gun. There's been no danger whatsoever. Nice. Oh, come on. Uh, I was hoping you would get up. No. I don't even shoot you. Well, it literally goes through you. Uh, yes. You're joking. Hold on. Sorry. Sorry. This this is what I wait for. This is what I wait an hour of my time for. Well, this was Death Bloom. Um, incredibly tedious, boring, dull game. There are way too many issues with it. So when you were first in that garden, it the frame rate was just awful because you just put way too much stuff in, Mr. or Mrs. or both developer. These enemies, why? What's the point? They don't look scary at all. And why did it take so long for these guys to show up? This whole thing, this whole maze, the whole going through the garden mazes, all of it pointless so far. Really is pointless because nothing of note has happened. You're just reading notes and that is it. There's been no story. Couldn't even be bothered to get voice actors, which are super cheap. Hey, if you had asked me, I would have voice acted for you. Just so something else happens. Just so there's like a little bit of tension and you can have like some tension in the protagonist's voice. That would have done. At least it adds something. But this game is just nothing. It really is nothing. Why have you put so much effort in to making this? It's misdirected effort massively. Just bizarre. Thanks for watching everybody. If you made it through this, what are you doing? Come on, seriously. Why? Naughty. I'm telling you off now. I give you permission to not watch my next video. Actually, no, I'll take it back. I'll take it back. You need to watch my next video because it'll be more interesting than this game, I promise. Yikes. Bye, everybody.